Okay, so in this example, there are initially 164 pa four pounds of a contaminant in a large tank of water. Our cleaning process removes 10% of the remaining contaminant each hour. So how much contaminant is removed from the seventh to the twelfth hour of the cleaning process? Or to state this another way, how much contaminant is removed between the seventh and twelfth hour of cleaning? Okay? So again, I'm going to run through this with a table just to explain in case anyone's stuck. Um, I'll go slowly. Um, if you feel like you've pretty much got it and you just want to check your answer or, or you just, you're just one step away, just skip the video ahead and check the answer. That's fine. I'm just going to run, go through this slowly for anyone that needs help. So again, I like to do my little table, hours, and I'm going to look at pounds remaining. Okay. After zero hours or initially, there are 164 pounds. In other words, we start with that, don't we? Okay. Um, and we're, the clean process, process removes 10% of the remaining contaminant each hour. So after the first hour, we can get 10% of 164. And what's that off the top of your head? 10% to 16.4, right? Move the decimal point over one. It's it's one tenth of that, right? It's a tenth. You're dividing by 10, so you move the decimal point over, isn't it? Okay? Or times it by 0 0.1, you get, anyway. So 16.4, but then we have to subtract. So you have to go 164, subtract 16.4, right? We have to get what that is. And that's a, that's a 10, that's a 3, it becomes a 5, that's a 13, uh, let's see, 7, um, 4. So, um, yeah, 147.6, right? So, sorry, 164 minus 16.4, uh, 147.6. So after one hour, 147.6. But what's the cooler way of doing this? Well, the cooler way uh, is to write it as the 10 in, instead of working with 10 percent and then sub, getting 10 percent and then subtracting we can say this we can say okay what's like a hundred percent minus 10 percent right 100 percent minus 10 percent is 90 percent right and we can all um, and and um, and so we can go 164 times 0 0.9, right? That's 90%, 0 0.9. And that will give us the answer without having to subtract. 164 times 0 0.9, there we go. 147.6, okay? So that's useful. And in fact, it, or you can think of it this way, it's, it's 164 times one minus 0 0.1, right? Or one minus 10%, right? Or 100% minus 10%, same thing, okay. Anyway, so um, after two hours, what would be remaining? Press pause and do that. Okay, I'll do it now. So you'd start 164 pounds, and you multiply by 0 0.9 to get your 147.6, and then but then just multiply by 0 0.9 again to get what's remaining after two hours, right? And in calculator uh, form, we, we just write 164 times 0 0.9 to the power of 2. And that is what is remaining after two hours, right? 164 times 0 0.9 to the power of 2. 132.84, okay? Or I'm just going to round that to like 133 pounds, about, okay? So 164 pounds, about 148, 133, and so on. Um, but we're interested in how much is removed from the seventh to the twelfth hour, or between the seventh and twelfth hour. So let's figure out how much is remaining after seven hours. And then maybe we'll figure out how much is remaining after 12 hours, right? And then we might be able to answer this question. Because what's removed between seventh and twelfth hours well, let's figure out what's left here and what's left here, and then what if we subtract them? Wouldn't that do it, right? So 
So let's figure out what's remaining after the seventh hour. Can you press pause and do that? I'll do it with you now. You go 164 times 0 0.9 to the power of 7. Or in calculator form, it's you know, 164 times 0 0.9 to the power of 7. 164 times 0 0.9 to the power of 7. That's about 78.44 pounds. Okay. After 12 hours, what's remaining? Again, calculator speak, it's 164 times 0 0.9 to the power of 12. And I'm going to use my arrows. I'm going up here, press enter. I'm going to take that 7, turn it into a 12, press enter. And it gets about 46.32 pounds remaining. And then I can just subtract, can't I? Because if, if there's 70, about 78 pounds after 7 hours and about 46 after 12 hours, what is removed between the 7th and 12th hour? Well, just take this and subtract this, right? Just su subtract this, and we get the answer, right? Um, so 78.44 minus uh, 46.32, and I get 32.12, right? And it says, please round answer to the nearest pound. So that's handy, because that'll round to just 32 pounds. Right, LBS for pounds, right? Um, and even a more neater way of all would be to just take this thing, this whole line here, and then subtract this line, and then that would give me the answer more exact. And it would be just one calculation, right? So I could have done 164 um, times 0 0.9 to the power of 7 minus 164 times 0 0.9 to the power of 12. And that would give me my 32.12. That would reduce any errors if I did did it all in one line, wouldn't it? And again, that rounds, of course, to 32 pounds, right?